This is step seven in a 24 step video series that shows you anchoring the bass rails. You will notice in this step of our English version films, there is a different voice narrating. That is because at Absolute Steel, we're continually improving our product, and this step of the installation process is one of those improved areas. Previously, the base rails were pre-drilled in the center, and the wedge or concrete anchor was inserted into that hole, and that's where the concrete anchor secured the base rails to the concrete. The difference now is we use a Z-clip, which is affixed by frame screws to the base rail, and then the Z-clip is secured to the concrete through pre-drilled holes by 3 8 by 3 and 3 quarter concrete expansion or wedge anchors. This causes the concrete expansion anchor to be used approximately four and a half inches from the edge of your slab if your base rails are two by three, and five and a half inches if your base rails are two inch by four inch, as found in our HD or heavy duty buildings. Before the implementation of the Z clip, the anchoring occurred one and a half to two inches away from the concrete slab's edge. This improved positioning of the anchors ensures the concrete is not fractured, cracked, or broken at the edge when the anchor penetrates and is tightened into the concrete. Most of our buildings use a 3 and 3 quarter inch by 3 8 inch concrete expansion anchor. In some cases, like the coast of Florida, which has excessive wind loads, a larger anchor may be called for, or you may be required to use additional number of anchoring locations. If that's the case, they will be supplied with your building and your instructions will clearly indicate that you may have more anchoring positions. Make sure you use the proper size masonry bit for the anchors that come with your kit. Half inch for half inch, anchor, and so on. Check the bolt manufacturer's instructions for specific installation recommendations. You would now align and place the base rails with the chalk line and the reference marks that are on the concrete. In the case of a square and true slab, you would align them along the edge of the slab. Use a hammer to tap them into position if necessary. When all is aligned, use tech or frame screws to affix the Z clips to the base rail. Place the weight of your foot on the base rails when you do this so the base rails are not moved. Next, drill your anchor holes into the concrete right through the pre-drilled holes of the Z-clips, placing your foot again on the base rails to hold them in place while you do so. Before you insert the concrete expansion anchor, place a flat washer on the bolt and thread a hex nut on the top of the bolt until about a quarter of an inch of threads are exposed above the nut. Now with a hammer, tap down the expansion bolt and then tighten the nuts with a wrench. Continue this until all the pre-drilled holes in the Z-clips are securely anchored.